containers retrofitting has kind of caught on in other places in the country. Um, I don't see a lot of risk at this point for us um, other than approving the modifications, and those would simply be changing the air conditioning system so that they can keep a work level of about 79 to 81 degrees. They would put two roll-up doors in the north side of the building, one to move the units in. They will go on a dolly around through and then to take them back out on the north side to be finished for shipping. Um, other than that, most of the changes to the building would be minimal. What's the rent or revenue starting in April? That's the other point of haggle. We're, I told them that we would do between 6 and 7% of our gross investment. And Sarah and I looked back yesterday, and we have typically done 7. They have proffered 6.5. We're haggling over that. It's a very small amount of money. And I'm going to try to get them to 7 to keep things standard. Um, but in any event, I'll bring you a contract back and be able, hopefully, to defend whether we use six and a half or seven percent of our gross investment, which would be is that the way we run out Tech River? Or yeah. is there different? No, Tech River. We have a we have a second uh, program where we do two dollars for unair conditioned warehouse space, four dollars for air conditioned warehouse space, and six dollars for office space. And Tech River's done on the six dollar for office space. There is no uh, purchase option with with this company. They will have a purchase option that allows 50% of their lease after uh, insurance and taxes to be used to purchase the building at 12 employees, 75% at 18 employees, and 100% at 24 more employees. For how long? 10 years. And they don't get the front parking space? We're going we're gonna to mini-plat that front area and take it out. So how much, like you're looking at the Wendy's building, how much of that? Looking, looking on Google Earth, I measured the Murphy oil and the Pizza Hut stuff at 195 feet of frontage from US 17. So it would be 195 feet plus a service road behind it. So probably 200 and some odd feet off the front. That's, that's the plan. And they don't need that space? No. I, I, that was the last thing we discussed on Friday afternoon, and they, uh, they they agreed with it. They liked the idea of us leaving it for retail development. It also provides a buffer for them, and I did tell them. I had a discussion with the county's planner. He liked the idea of saving that for retail development and as a buffer, and I did tell them there may have to be some fencing, uh, some screen fencing, because we, we would really like to maintain the integrity of that area as a retailing location. <clears throat> Until that happens, are they going to stack 100 containers in front of the building? Most of the container retrofit, the, the, the raw... Do you understand what I'm saying, Mike? It, it'll be on the, the north side of the building. So, I, we haven't finished the contract. I just wanted to make you aware of it, and once we get it done, I'll bring it back to you, and we'll, hopefully we, we'll We'll have it done at the October meeting. Mr. Chairman, have they given any kind of limit as to how many containers they would, would have at any one time stored outside? I mean, I don't, I don't even know how many. He, he how gave many, me a number of, to me. They, they want to do 40 at a time. That's what they think they can run through the manufacturing process. So there probably would be, if, if you had 40 in manufacturing and 40 shipped, somewhere between 40 and 80 would be there at one time. Bunch of containers outside. Sure. I think the visual barrier gets more important as you store stuff outside. Well, that's what I'm saying. And I, you know, but, but 40 containers should, should store nicely just on the north end of the building, I would think. <clears throat> we, didn't, we did not anticipate any problems with that. But we, we do have some sensitivity to the, the visual. Yeah, I mean, you got But it, it isn't, there really doesn't need to be any zoning changes. It's C2, and that type of stuff would be permissible there. I'm just talking aesthetically. I'm not talking to the You go by there and there's 40 containers piled up in the front of it because of the, the side to the north of it's not paved. And, you know, the truck got stuck out there yesterday, so we had to put them out front. And now we need to put the fence up now. I'm just. Yeah. 
Thank you.